Have you ever had an experience that changed your life because of someone else's mistake? I was at a multi-level marketing conference once, and the speaker mentioned that butterflies mean transformation. I wrote it on my notebook. When I got home, I kissed my kids goodnight, and I went into an all-night research. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I read how caterpillars find the right place and creates a cocoon. It begins to digest itself by releasing enzymes. It begins to liquefy itself. It might sound painful, but this needs to happen to fulfill its purpose. It's a process that takes a month to a year. About a week later, I was sitting in my car and a kaleidoscope of butterflies flew by. It's called like that because of all the colors together. One landed on my windshield right in front of me. And it might sound silly, but to me, it was a messenger. It was giving me a message. And the message was, your transformation is coming. Five years before that, on a chilly spring morning, around 7 a.m., I found myself huddled on the cold ground outside of a gas station in the city of Los Angeles. Tears streaming down my face as I smoke a cigarette while waiting for the bus. My destination was uncertain. I was without a roof over my head and no family to turn to. I lost everything. <sighs> I do not recall the thoughts racing through my mind, but I vividly remember the overwhelming emotions that consumed me. Hopelessness, exhaustion, confusion, and hurt. The world seemed hostile. I didn't speak much English, so I was really lost. In those moments, everyone was against me. Everyone was my enemy. Now, let me tell you how I got there. One month before that, I was patiently waiting at home for my husband to return from his graveyard shift. About 10 minutes after 7 p.m., the phone rang. It was a collect call from the police department. <sighs> I was devastated. The world fell on me. I was counting on him. Now what? <sighs> he wasn't coming home. I had no food. I had no money. I had no rent. Now what? He was addicted to meth. He wasn't coming home and I didn't have how to provide. The graveyard shift was really him sleeping around with people. He introduced me as his friends and selling drugs, that's how he was paying rent. I lost everything. I had to go and find a job. And with my broken English and undocumented, I didn't have many options. I was a waitress for a week and I got fired. I tried cleaning a house and the owner made a pass on me. I tried recycling to make money, cans and bottles, but it wasn't enough. I didn't have many options. I lost everything. Everything fell apart. I had nothing. And I felt so ashamed, betrayed, humiliated and lost. So in my desire to support him and myself, led me to attend recovery groups in church. I never thought I would do that. One day, in one of these groups, I heard someone reading, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This sentence had a big impact in my mind and my heart. I wanted to be transformed and renew my mind, but I had no idea how to do that. My hurt, pain, and betrayal created deep belief in me. How can I forget all the bad things that happened to me? That's impossible. Since then, I've been on a journey to discover the real meaning of transformation. My belief was, everyone lies, and I must protect myself from everyone. It took time for me to realize that the lie was my belief system. Everything I believed in was not true. So I went and did the work. In order to be transformed, you have to put your shame and hurt aside to be able to speak of them. To renew your mind, 
is to give your thoughts a new meaning, to learn to see things from a different lens, to find a different perspective. To do the real work is to challenge adversity rather than accepting it. When we get hurt by people that we trust and love, then we learn to believe that everything and everyone is and will do the same. That becomes our truth, a narrative that we need to renew. This can help you renew your mind. For every bad thing that happens, your goal is not to conform with it, but to find something positive about it. In every negative situation, you can find something positive in it. In my story, addiction, hurt, betrayal, what did I find? I found recovery. The key is not waiting to feel like it, but to take action, to make a big effort to change your thoughts, not to get stuck with the negative ones. Finding the good and the bad can help you understand that there's always something positive in a negative situation. All you have to do is find it. Simple, right? When you make a conscious, consistent effort to change the way you think, you change your perspective. You change the way you see life. Your life doesn't have to change for you to be transformed. When you encounter a problem, a bad situation, or a negative emotion-driven thought, stop what you're doing. Don't panic. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Okay? And make a huge effort to find something positive about that. You can do it. When you learn to renew your mind one thought at a time, you learn to see things that you didn't see before. You learn to see life from a different view, the positive view. You learn to see things, everything that life has to offer. So remember, your life and environment don't have to change for you to be transformed. You have that power in you.